Hey guys, it's Ed from Experimental Airlines. Well, I had so much fun with the Photon Motor Glider with its big wingspan and high lift, decided it was time for a new contest. And the contest this time is gonna be longest wingspan. This will be a scratch build contest to build a foam board airplane out of ready board from the Dollar Tree or whatever equivalent you could get in your part of the world. And it should have the longest wingspan that you can design and prove to fly. The prize for the contest is kindly sponsored by tapebrothers.com home of our beloved colored packing tape. It's a $75 gift certificate, which should get plenty of uh, colored packing tape, as well as some of the other cool tapes they have, like duct tape, metallic, carbon fiber, holographic, double-sided tape, all sorts of cool stuff. So I would go to tapebrothers.com, start picking out your prize. The only firm design and construction rule for this contest is that the wing must be an arm and wing airfoil technique, which is a continuous piece of foam board from the trailing edge around the leading edge and back to the trailing edge. Otherwise, the fuselage, the electric power plant, the tail, the layout, everything else is completely up to you. The plane must be shown to take off, fly for 60 seconds, land, and take off and fly again. These are sort of X prize rules. So turn on your camera, take off either hand launched or from the ground, document a 60 second controlled flight under electronic propulsion, a landing, keep the camera on, take off again, either hand launch or from the ground, and document that it's flown again. We'll consider that a successful flight. When you measure your airplane, be sure you do it in a way that's very clear on the video from wingtip to wingtip, minus any protrusions from the tip wingtips. The measurement will be rounded down to the nearest whole inch to eliminate measuring error, as well as any discrepancies over tiny little fractions uh, of measurement in the event of a of a tie, I'll actually just judge it based on flight characteristics and overall uh, design of the airplanes. The measurement from wingtip to wingtip will be to the cambered airfoil tip to tip. Any protrusions like flat plates, winglets, spars, anything that sticks out past will not be counted in the measuring, so be sure you measure right to here. So to recap, go get a bunch of foam board and construction materials, turn on your creativity, build an airplane with the longest wingspan you can, Turn on your video camera, take off, fly for 60 seconds, land, immediately take off again. Measure the airplane on video and submit that video to my YouTube channel as a video response to the video you're watching right now. After one month of the posting of the video you're watching right now, all contest entries will be due. I will create a compilation video of all of the entries minus the measurements to keep the suspense up and I'll post that for a week or two so everybody can check in on their entries and speculate as to the winner and then after that time I will announce the official winner and show all the details in the full length of the video that was submitted. Some of the ways I like to use to join uh, spars for these joined wing sections are metallic tubing, here's aluminum, this is brass that can be slipped over two pieces of uh, aero shaft or dowel or whatever tubing you choose to use or you can in fact sometimes find aero shafts that fit inside one another and that will allow you to join spar after spar and make ever longer wingspans. I hope to promote a lot of innovation in this area, and so please share your secrets with your joining techniques for the spars and wings so we can also consider using them ourselves. Here is a 10-foot section of arm and wing, which is four joined sections, and I have no question guys will be able to blow right past this limit. This 10-foot wing with carbon arrow shafts is plenty stiff. You could put that right on a plane and fly it, so I expect wingspans of 15, maybe even 20 something feet. So get creative and make it big. So go grab some foam board and packing tape, glue, get creative, make it huge, send in your video, and we'll see you on the other side. Take care, Ed out.